Hello everyone! Today I will show you my new printer from Anycubic. It's called the Photon Printer. Uh, it's a DLP printer. I've never used one before. So let's open it and take a look. Great, on the top we have an uh, instruction. A uh, user menu or okay, I, I've never owned one before so before I use the printer I gotta read this carefully I think F E P feel I so I think this is the uh, reason but I don't think that's what you'll get because they have the hand label on this. Let me, let, let's just put it aside. Oh, yeah. There's the cable. Ah, uh, you show uh, tools for the uh, accessories for the 3D printer. And uh, this is the plastic scraper. Uh, a mask. Disposable mat. And uh, this is the power adapter. And uh, we have some disposable gloves here. Uh, also, some screws. Some, um, uh, USB memory. I don't know what this is. A handle, maybe? Oh, heavy! Uh, it's too heavy to lift it up, so I had to remove this away and then try to pull it out from the side. to be careful because I think usually for the LCD printer they have that glass uh, build play so it must be very delicate and slowly put it on there's nothing in here So there's the knot here. I think I'm going to have to put it on first. So you put the screw here and then you just finger tight it. more foam I guess this is their view play I really like the color I think this is the uh, funnel for filtering the resin and let's put it inside I think I need to move the C axis up, so let's power it up. So 
Now we are uh, let's click tools and then <coughs> move C. Maybe just a little bit uh, at a time. Push it all the way in and then let's tighten it. And uh, make sure this is still moving freely. Okay, now let's uh, level it. So I already have this paper here. It's like um, ordinary, uh, it's like a usual bed leveling. You need the paper to uh, uh, detect the uh, distance tools and then move C put a uh, paper underneath and then press the home button the bill plate will slowly uh, going down Okay, then at this point let's uh, select 0 0.1 mm and then uh, let's move it down a little bit by a uh, little bit. Yeah, I can feel uh, a good resistance here. So I think that's it. Okay, uh, there is uh, an insert screw inside. We need to tighten it. Put your hands on the uh, bill plate and let the bill plate uh, lay it flat on the LCD screen. And then you try to tighten it. And then uh, start to uh, tighten it. I think it's done. So uh, now let's go back to the previous menu and uh, press C equal to zero. This reset the C zero position. Continue. Yes. So that every time when you try to print, it always uh, start from this position. Okay. Let's move it back up again. the recent wet back to the precision. going to be messy. Uh, fortunately I have gloves and mask so I'll put it on and uh, then I'll pour some resin into the resin wet.
Um, I have my um, USB uh, memory here. So we have um, two models in there. I'm just going to print the fun, uh, photon square. So let's hit the model. The second icon is for ice cream, I think. Um, the print looks okay. Let's um, take it off first. And um, I don't know if you can see from here, it's still kind of soft. So I'm, uh, I don't have my UV light yet, so I'm going to uh, put it uh, in the sun to harden it a little bit. I'm going to um, clean this after I after uh, later. I'm going to clean this. Up. So I got some alcohol here and let's pour some in. This is the Anycubic Photon Slicer. Okay, let me uh, open file. This is my Sexy Cyborg Regis Base 22mm. So let's take a look. The um, layer thickness is 0 0.05. The normal exposure time is 10. The off time is 1. The bottom exposure time is 50. And the bottom layer is 8. Uh, let's check out other settings. So in here you can uh, add support. Uh, I don't really need it, but um, I would like to see it. So I'm going to add the uh, under my hands okay let's uh, turn around and um, now it's above the bed why that's strange okay I will figure out later but now I don't need the support so I'm going to remove all support and go back and let's take a look I um, mean here is right back to the precision looks normal to me and another function is resolution log ratio I don't really need that because uh, I only have one printer so uh, now let's uh, save that so I guess they only produce the dot photon files it's a proprietary format I don't know if you can other use other slicer just save uh, now it is slicing. The good thing is, uh, you know, I don't need to hook up the printer on my um, computer. I can just uh, use the USB stick. So after it finishes slicing, I will copy the files and then I will print it off uh, 
from my USB. Okay, the estimated total print time is uh, 1 hour 28 minutes. So, um, that's it. <laughs> now let's go and print out my model. So, uh, I took both my prints uh, inside and it hardens a little bit and I also printed out the mini me version. Let me uh, show you for my uh, other camera. Because this is the DLP printer, of course it does what it does. The resolution is much uh, higher. Uh, certainly my uh, FDM printer cannot uh, do this. Looks pretty good. And for the small one, for the mini me, I have to show it under the uh, microscope, I think. So from here you can see um, it is mixing some uh, details, but uh, it's not bad for the default setting. I think because I usually don't uh, use the DLP uh, configuration, I think if I fiddle with it, with it a little bit more I can uh, do a better job in the future. And compared to my little finger, you see? This is my little finger. And <laughs> my model is super, super tiny. Okay, you know what I like to see? Does it print out of the box? Yes, it does. And uh, the software is very user-friendly, so I didn't have any problem. But uh, for the printer itself, the LP printers, they are messy and smelly, but I will get into that in the next video. Uh, for now, for the printer itself, I would, uh, I think I can recommend the Anycubic Photon DLP printer if you are interested in buying one, definitely consider, uh, definitely take a look at it. And until then, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it. <laughs>